The tutorial describes how to use the dynamic barcode generator service in a page that generates a ticket for a sporting event. The Event Ticket Printing Company wants to allow its customers to generate and print a ticket by entering information into a form. To make it easier for the gate attendants to process the tickets, the company wants to place a barcode on the ticket. When the purchaser inputs the email address into the form and chooses Submit, the ticket is created by accessing a MySQL database that contains the customer's ticket data. This information is passed to the Dynamic Barcode Generator subscription, which creates the barcode. The tutorial uses HTML, PHP, MySQL, and WAMP. Click the WAMP shortcut. The tutorial assumes tickets have been purchased and that the information is already stored in the database. Left click the green WAMP icon. Select MySQL. Select MySQL console. We will access the test database that includes a table named Tickets. The table includes purchaser information including ticket number, name, email, and seat number. Minimize the window. Let's create a project named Quicker Ticket. Create the project folder. We'll place all project files in the Quicker Ticket project folder. Start up a text editor. In this example, we will use Ultra Edit. Create an HTML file named Pull Ticket. It will act as the form to input ticket information. Save the file in the Quicker Ticket project. Create a PHP file named Print Ticket. Print Ticket will pull the information from the database and generate the ticket. Save the Print Ticket file. Open the Pull Ticket file and let's create the form. Start with the HTML and body tags. The design is not going to be anything spectacular as the intention is basically to show how the dynamic barcode generator can be used in a real world project. However, to keep it from being completely boring, I'll add the company's logo which is stored as a PNG file. We will add a bit of code and the file name of the image so that when we view the page, the image will be visible. Let's pull all of the images that we'll need for the Quicker Ticket project and put them in the project folder. Control C to copy the images and then perform a Control V to paste them into the project.
In order for the page to process an entry, we will need the form to perform an action. Method post is going to send the information entered into the form to the print ticket PHP file. Let's create a text box that will receive the data input. We want to give the purchasers that have purchased tickets the ability to retrieve their ticket by entering their email address. For input type, create a submit button that will process the form action. Close the tags. Let's take a look at the pull ticket HTML file. Left click the running WAMP icon and select localhost. Open the Quicker Ticket project and choose Pull Ticket. We turn to the editor. Open the Print Ticket PHP file. The focus of this section will be to pull the information we want from the database based on the email and set specific information to the hosted service barcode. In this section, we assign the host database, and table name variables. Here, we connect and select the database. Here, the form input is assigned to the email variable. The MySQL real escape string function is used to create a legal SQL string that you can use in an SQL statement.
Here, we'll perform an SQL select statement that will pull the record where email in the database is equivalent to the email value entered into the form. Then, we will send a query to the database and set it to the result. We'll pull the ticket number and seat number and set it as data to encode. Apply the PHP closing tag. Close the SQL connection. Let's design the ticket. On this line, we'll pull the linear demo dynamic generator subscription barcode and set the D parameter to the data to encode variable. This will create the barcode of the value stored in the data to encode variable, ticket number and seat number. Let's add the rest of the code that will make up the ticket. This includes additional ticket information, including a ticket logo image. We will also provide a way for the purchaser to print the ticket. Add the closing tags and save the file. Let's run the project. James has purchased the ticket to the baseball game and would like to print his ticket. He will enter his email and choose Generate Ticket. This will pull his ticket information and generate his ticket. A game ticket is generated. As we look at the ticket, we can see that the ticket number and seat number for James has been passed to the D data to encode parameter in the generator service product and generates a scannable barcode. The ticket printing example is just one way barcodes can be created over the web using the dynamic barcode generator service.